Welcome back. We are us and this is Animus Revenant. <sighs> now, in the previous episode, we, uh, well, first off, we acquired Pire's pantaloons. Very nice. Second off, we finally found our way to the, I'm I'm assuming the final boss of the area, who was Queen Euphony. Probably not pronouncing that quite correctly, but I'll let it be. Hmm. Upon defeating her, we acquired the Serpent Necklace, which I remember is required to open a door in this area. Oh. Oh, right. I also... Did I show these off? It's been a bad couple of days for videos, so I'm not sure... No, I'm pretty sure this... The last Animus video was fine. So I got to show off all of the, the weapons that we crafted. I don't know what curse does, so I don't really value its effect. Things like stun and... Ah, right. I remember. I was really... I spent an hour, nearly two hours, trying to farm a searing crystal. I had four of them, which means I encountered enemies or they dropped from chests. I'm not sure, but I'm thinking they dropped from enemies. And that's how we ended up with them. So I went back and tried to farm more. For two hours. No luck. I was going to parry it, but I messed up. Got bright outside again. You know when the clouds cover the sky, it, just, it makes things, you know, a little darker. That's what was going on, and it was easy for me to see the right side of my screen. This is no longer the case. Dang, could get. And we got a curse door. Nice. Do we have to kill them with an execution to get the rarer stuff, maybe? Or a backstab, not an execution. Why am I... Why am I... What did I... When did I get hit? Oh, come on. Oh, come on. I was just outside of that. Or two. I will take it. God dang it. Ah, 
door is right here. No? Oh. It's further up ahead. I mistook the rooms. Do how similar they are. Sucker. Ha <laughs> ha. Come on, give me another backstab. Why not? Unexpected consequences. That is a really, really obnoxious way to move. Well. As fun as that was, that it needed to be over with. Peloris's memory. Planting Strom's tooth into the ground, it is said that Polaris rose from the earth when a strong wind rushed over the land. So... Polaris is... A fart? Anyway, let's go this way. Expecting the parry animation to kill him. Hmm. Oh. Oh, that's that's good. That is bad. So that is 750 memory. That is really good for how easy she is to beat. Things start looking bad, we head right back to the statue. What?
this. Oh, we're going to end up fighting the other three, um, what are they called? I don't. I don't remember what the guys are called, but we need to go back. I now have the hang of combat again, so... Do I want to switch from the daggers? I kind of like them. Also, the ability to cleanse... I don't know... Where the frick did this guy go? Also, the ability to cleanse status effects is pretty good. Wasn't sure I was going to be able to get that one in there. Apparently the devs are going to lower the cooldown of parry, which is just fine. Uh, don't get me wrong, it's one of the things I really didn't like, but considering... It made a little bit of sense considering that you can use the parry even against bosses, assuming you use it against the right one of their attacks. I forgot that <laughs> I forgot the parry is on a cooldown. We get a free 750... Oh, no, he's not going to be coming back. We get a free 750 memory back. Or, again. Absolutely ruined. Now she's down here. So that's where I got that stupid spear from. The way she's wielding it, I thought it was a mace. That's not a spear. 
That's a spear. I'm sort of stuck here now. And he's dead. He was super brave a moment ago. But now that his buddy's dead, he assumes a defensive stance to... I don't know what Curse does. Hold on. I think these guys will deal in stun, not curse. Come on, boys, let's go. Hello? Is anybody home? Huh. I was expecting trouble here. Slightly disappointed. What? Go back and watch. Oh, it's not. Go back and watch that and see how I just incurred. Just see how I incurred that very tiny itty bit of curse right there. Just, I want you guys to go back and see it for yourselves, because that is stupid. I'll wait. Did you see that? He, the weapon was at rest, but I walked into it and, whoop, you're cursed. What? Come on. Oh, it's another one. What is that, a bardish? Oh dear. that he cancels an attack animation because that might have killed me. You okay, buddy? Or... I better grab that before he comes back to life. Interesting. I don't remember doing that to the other guy, but I did. I do remember doing it to the very first one we encountered in the snowy forest. Is the other one still alive? Wandering around here somewhere, looking for his lost memory? Speaking of which, Udaeus' memory. Basically the same thing as Pelorus. They were born from a fart. There's nothing you can do to convince me otherwise. This looks awfully boss fighty. Do you hear it? Sh 
Shadow of King Cadmus. I'm stunned, and he does a lot of damage. That is unfortunate for me. So, I've also tested the, uh... I went and tested the issue I had before where engaging enemies and then escaping by using the, uh, what you just saw is, would lead them to remain aggroed on me and follow me all the way back to the statue and attack me, which was fine. It would help with farming if that was the intent and I was just escaping because I needed healing or whatever. But in cases where that wasn't the case, it was a problem. Apparently that's a bug because I tested it quite thoroughly a number of times and it didn't happen again. I even reset directly next to a statue, dragged enemies all the way back to a statue and reset and they were gone. Hmm. I don't know what to take to fight King the Shadow of King Cadmus. Wide open. <laughs> okay, let's see. We've got this guy to deal with. And as soon as he gets the opportunity. No, he went defensive. Interesting. Usually enemies try to repeat the action that I interrupted with the parry, but he went defensive. Nice. Come on, buddy. Was terribly timed. It would be fascinating to learn that the curse orbs and things like it drop if you can execute the enemy with a backstab. I keep saying execute when that's not what it is. So I keep screwing around and trying to brute force these enemies when I could just be playing it like it's a Dark Souls game and playing the strategy that combat demands. Oh, great. Can't get behind him, so...
And then there's someone like this. <clears throat> you thought, didn't you? Thank you. And then there's someone like that who ignores all the rules of the game and just constantly attacks you with little bitty pecs. Oops. That are really annoying. Guess we're both idiots. Good sir. If it weren't so awkward to switch weapons, that'd be terribly convenient. Can't get behind him in time, so punish. Oh well. Oh, the guy hurts so much. How am I supposed to deal with that? Also, the stacks of stun are no joke. One heavy hit should do it. I was lied to. Okay. <clears throat> Not entirely sure how to go about this. So, let's go about it wrong. My god! That's it for us. That stun stacks fast. <sighs> I could go and craft some armor with higher stun resistance than what I have now. Or, or I could equip a... I'm pretty sure I have something against stun, right? Healing over time is completely worthless. So I can't be bothered to switch to the Hammer of the Unremembered.
also don't know what element he's using. Otherwise, I could get something... if I could get if I should get a well I can't get a shield now because I don't have my freaking memories So I've got burst resistance, but not freaking stun. And the physical damage that he puts out is disgusting. I want whatever the frick he's using. I think the axe is still the best way to go. run through all of these guys and get the souls again, but... Instead, I may as well be prepped to fight the guy when I get there. I appreciate the cursed orbs, my guy. Couldn't grab the gear I wanted without you. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to figure out... That is still the hardest one to see coming. Locked it. I have to be honest, they gave me that hit. I did not earn it. Too late, just in case you were wondering. Come on! 
That's what we like to see. Good backstabber, though. This guy is doable. Eh, not really worth it. Just going to stop there. guarded and it was all for naught just barely I forget that other one has no freaking tracking. Yeah. 
Yep. I'm not even going to bother trying to parry him. But I would love the opportunity to deal some extra damage. No dice. I mess it up. No, he recovers way too fast. I can't. I can't try and attack him through that. I mean, I could probably try and get... God dang it. I probably could try... We only have one heal left. That is probably where I can get my parry in. Do I have to be... I don't think I have to be targeting them to get the parry. I'm thinking it's probably best that I don't mess with what works. Oh, come on, I was getting out of there. Let's learn these patterns first. That hit me? Ooh. 
So he still has that one. time we get hit that's it we lose and then Lucky me. <laughs> Thankfully, this guy's an idiot. Not that I have any room to talk. Two. How did that hit me when I was dodging? prefer having the ability to knock off the stun stacks though, so we'll keep the other weapon. What the frick is this? How long has this been a thing? Nope, we're not doing this right now. Mm -hmm. Nope, 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 I want my memory back first. going in there. Who knows what might be there. How the frick? I only accidentally found it, as you'll probably have seen based on how I... Oops. How I plan to cut the video.
<sighs> we are down to five um, healing now. I have no illusions that this may not be enough to be the boss. And see, you can hear them here. Indicated the wall was even breakable. I have to go and I have to wait until we actually load the video. I mean, until I'm actually editing the video to find out myself. As you'll have seen, finding it was completely incidental. it away? I really do appreciate all of these curse orbs. I really do. I have no idea if they're going to come in handy, but I'm glad to have them. got one more shielded normal guy to fight and then we cross the path to the room we opened. Lifesteal is trash and you'll never be able to convince me otherwise. I don't know why I was thinking about a Rift Shard. Peddler Mugen. Kiss of Leth. And the Royal Crown. Someone's approaching. I fix that. Blessing bestowed by Leth to soothe one's pain. Memory will be returned to reset. Le what? Anyway. Recipe to forge equipment with the curse effect. 
what was the other thing we picked up? The king's... there it is. Crowned Euphony War before her dethronement. As Cadmus slipped deeper into his fear, her attempts to preserve the house brought only contention. Having Cadmus's ear, the royal clergy instigated Queen Cadmus to remove Vidar and dethrone the queen. It is not readily known the value of such an article. Nevertheless, a merchant in interested in all and any item of rarity may offer a fair price for it. resistance necklace if only the boss actually used fire element I cannot tell what element he's using it's obviously lightning but there's no lightning element right we can check by actually I can't check my equipment unfortunate I think my parry came just came off cool down. to five healing no matter how you slice it. We've got one. Now we have one more guy after him to fight, right? Yeah, there's one just waiting in this hall. Dick! Okay, I remember the pattern from last time and what we need to do. It takes forever, but so be it. And then... Cannot lock onto this guy and get out. No, we need to refresh.
Aha! You thought I didn't see you over there. If I can catch him from a different side while he's planting that lightning during that animation, I can get out without having to worry. See what I'm saying? That's the last one that actually doesn't track. Ow! Now we have to be careful. <clears throat> Dang it. I want him out in the open. Okay, so that's a free hit. That is annoying. Aha! Woo! No. Not lock on to this guy during this fight. Unfortunate. I don't need to heal though. I just need to keep away from him and. Five of them. Only one left. Really?
Are you actually kidding me? Wasn't I full of health? <clears throat> okay, we can do this. As long as we don't let him get, keep getting free hits. Did I miss? I might have. Just so you're aware, you can get a free hit in there when he's going... Well, hold on. When he's about to do... Dang it! I did not expect that.
very close. Come on, back out here in the middle. There's a little delay when he's about to come back down, so you want to keep that in mind as well. Wow, really? My move. Free hit. Free hit. I probably could have gone for two there. The last thing I want to do is die because I got greedy. Come on. This is doable.
Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> I have never been so happy to be interrupted in my life. Oh my god. out. I almost screwed the pooch by teleporting back to the statue. If he hadn't interrupted me and knocked me out. <sighs> I dedicate this victory to the shadow of King Cadmus. Okay. There's nothing else in here, not even any doors. Right? I don't want to have to go swinging at every single wall. else here. And I remember the entire path on the way here, so there's nothing. Oh. Okay, as a reward, let's go see what new equipment we can create. Deals dark damage and it increases that damage. Mm. Then we have the Sword of Cadmus. Deals lightning damage and flicks stun, as we well know. 
has a physical attack of 398. Oh, and then there's the lore. <clears throat> Cadmus arose a kingdom upon the foundation of flesh and blood and flesh and bone. Monsters and men alike. Unable to live with the bloodshed weighing down on his conscience, he sought ways to lessen the burden. Each method pushing him further into the maw of the absolutes. And this has the ability of respiration. It reduces your stamina use by 25% for two minutes. Hmm. Hmm. Not bad. The other ability it has is stun, which increases your... how much you stack stun on enemies. Still no poison orbs. Sore. We can't make this stuff because we made her daggers. Oh, right, the armor. Let's see. How does this have higher physical defense than this? get Udeus's armor, which is pretty close to where we are. Let's see. It wouldn't have helped us against the boss, since it reduces our stun resistance. I do like the look of it. And it's better... No. This one had the <clears throat> had the glaive. I don't know if I actually want the glaive, but I don't really see a. This has really high dark resistance. Nearly five thousand, whereas I'm currently at thirty one hundred. Ah, we can craft his armor, which has a thousand stun resistance, which increases mine by seven hundred lightning resistance and so he was weak against wind which is fine but I don't have any heavy weapons that deal significant damage and will wind element damage but the information is worthwhile we don't have enough searing crystals to make that wait it says there's another armor here Dolores is... Ooh! That is terribly stylish. Yeah, since Dolores' weapon sucks, we could make his armor. No, we can't, because we don't have poison orbs. Also, it's got bad resistances, although it does increase my wind resistance. Stun resistance would have been increased as well. Poison. Weak to burst and curse. Hmm. Yeah, he definitely was weak to burst. So is there anything of value we can make? Cadmus' sword. To be fair, that stun resistance, I don't know if that would have actually carried over had I swapped weapons. Anyway, I needed the cleanse from the daggers, so... Yeah. So we can't really craft anything right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put away some of this... 
some of this memory that we have. Alright, we are now level 59, and this is where I'm going to call it. We've been recording for an hour and 46 minutes, all thanks to King, the shadow of King Cadmus. I have no idea where we go next to progress. I really don't. But that is an issue for next episode. Speaking of which, since this is going up Friday, that won't be seen. We won't be coming back with this until next Tuesday. So at least you know where to catch it should you want more. And so with all that said, we will see you next time.